Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first episode of the Fake Music Only Podcast, the best podcast online for discussing all things electronic music related. I'm your host, The Big Finichetti, and I'm my co-host here. Introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm IMG. I do stuff. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, and, and for the sake of confusion, my real name is Cole, C-O-L-E. And, yeah, and I'm Leaf. And we're here just to talk about all the recent releases that came out this week. Um, all genres of electronic music, dubstep, house, hard style, fuck it, anything. Yeah. F- from, like, any major label that came out that we think is interesting enough to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in the future, we're going to have guests. We already have one lined up that many of you may know already. Um, and I Are plan we going to spoil it yet or no? I don't, th- I don't think we're going to spoil it yet. Yeah, yeah, but, I would uh, say. <laughs> uh, it, but but it, is a, it is a she, if if that's a hint to anyone else. But, yeah, um, that, that probably is a big hint to most people, I would say. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see who mm-hmm. guesses it. Um, but yeah, so we have, a, we have a big list of all sorts of releases to talk about. And yep. um, I think the interesting thing about this week is that we have three albums to talk about. All of them are yeah. very sonically different, and they can yeah, all be classified. But they can all be classified as trap, I think. And that's. Mm, I don't yeah. know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I I guess I guess maybe the Shades album and the Arnold Graham album, but yeah, I wouldn't call this had the Sky album trap. <laughs> I, I I I think that goes back to like the whole like it like is future bass trap or not because a lot yeah. of people have differing yeah. opinions. I see a lot of similarities. Yeah, um, they're similar, definitely. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I mean, like, 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 both both in the tempos and the sounds that are used and the way they're arranged. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I I, I get what you mean. So yeah. just just because it's first on the list and because we're talking about it right now, um, let's just talk about the Said the Sky album that came out, which is Wide Eyed. Yeah. Um, I don't know about I don't know how you got introduced to him. Um, I was. Uh, I, 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 I think like most people, I found his, uh, his remix of Fireflies by Owl City. Um, hmm. I, I've I... actually never heard that. I think the first time I heard of him was, uh, his song with, uh, Elenium and who was the other person? Uh, shoot, now, now I don't know who it is. Ale- it was Elenium, Said the Sky, and someone oh. else. It, it was the Hallian. It was with Hallian. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that was a big collab, right? That was like four people. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember yeah, hearing three about people that. Plus Hallian, so I, I'm gonna look it up because it's gonna it's gonna bug me if I <laughs> if I if I don't. So let me look it up. One second, second. but yeah. Um. So oh, I, it was Seven Lions. That's who it was. Oh, that's a that's a stacked collab. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised I never. Hmm. I, I I remember hearing of that release, but I never actually listened to it. But um, but yeah, I heard his Fireflies remix, and that I to this day I think that's my favorite song from him. Um, that's mm-hmm. it was very well done. That's still on my phone, yeah. uh, to this day. And then I also saw that uh that he was on the the Lost Lands lineup, mm-hmm. which which surprised me because you know I, I I knew the type of music that he produced. But um, besides that, and and hearing about that massive collaboration you were talking about, I I never actually really followed him all that much. Yeah. Um, so, so it, it was pretty nice to see you put the, put the album, like, on the list here, because I don't think I would have yeah. listened to it otherwise. Yeah, um, thanks, Sean Rasheed. <laughs> yeah. That being said, I'm not exactly, okay, it, it, I, it, it, it's complicated, because I don't necessarily dislike this album. It's more, mm-hmm. I don't really think it needs to exist. Alright, uh, I, I, I kind of, like, like, what do you mean? By that, I guess you could. I, I guess. <laughs> what, what, what I mean by that is, um, like, like all, like all the songs in here are produced well and everything. Um, yeah. And, and like they sound fine, but they all seem to blend together for me, especially I, I, especially yeah. the beginning. It, like it's um, it, like it's all future based songs that sound very similar. They all have female yeah. vocalists. Um, and 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 just I, I I was hoping that uh when I saw that it was a fifteen track album, which is quite long. That yeah. um that there would be a few standouts that would really uh like like that would really stick with me um even if I didn't like the whole album uh but nothing really did with with maybe the exception being the outro which yeah. uh which I kind of remember but yeah like 
I like when I say it doesn't need to exist, I mean that um that th this easily could have just been a few EPs, which would have been a uh, much easier to listen to, I think. Yeah. Like like I like it. Like I mean, well, not like like it, but you know like like it, it's okay. You know, I'll listen to it again sometime. But it's like it's just yeah, like you said, it blends together too easily, and it's like mm, you know, it's like I got better stuff to listen to though. Yeah. <laughs> so. Which is a shame because I do like um I I do like, like th th this is the first time I've sort of I guess disliked um something that he's that he's put out um and I yeah. and, and I did have high hopes for this but uh, I I wound up getting more okay what it felt like to me. Um, do you remember, do you remember the album that Tobu put out, like, a few years ago? Um, I think I remember a few songs off it, but, yeah, um, yeah I get it it, it. it was called Sugar, um, and it was very okay, and I would yeah. call this a longer, and therefore slightly more boring version of that. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> So sorry, said this but, guy. But I, I thought Tobu like did commercial house or whatever, just he, house stuff. I mean, he he does. It's more, I don't know. It like it, it it it's it's more the feeling I got from it. Um, yeah. It, like uh, and 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 plus that album wasn't exactly, wasn't exactly all house. Um, actually, wait. Yeah. Yeah, I I I, 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 I guess um, it was more than I thought before, but uh, I. Then again, I haven't really exactly listened to that. I, I've never that listened to it either, so... <laughs> I, almost got, I almost got the CD copy of that, fun fact. <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> yeah, until they sold out, and I realized I didn't Ouch. have the money for it anyways. But, uh... <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> said, the, yeah. said the sky wide-eyed, um, I think that... I think that this, th this album could have, you know, it, it could have benefited from some from from cutting from cutting some tracks maybe uh i i think the version that we have now could have been like the deluxe edition yeah um and then maybe cut this to like then like like cut it to 10 maybe nine tracks um and then maybe throw some remixes on and some of the ones that stood out less um although um i i I've, we we we've, we've been talking a lot of crap on this album but uh <laughs> But like, like there were there were things that I liked about it. Um, like, yeah. the, like, uh, there were certain tracks that um, focused less on like focused less on the future bass sound and more on like vocal manipulation for the drops, mm -hmm. um, sort of Galantis esque. And uh, I, I found those yeah. tracks to be very enjoyable. Um, yeah. But the problem, <laughs> the, the 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 problem is I I can't name them because because uh, <laughs> I don't remember which ones they are. But, yeah, um, but yeah, the, the the tracks that, um, the tracks that were less feature bass and more, I, more, more based around, messing with the messing with the female vocalists like, well, vocals. Um, yeah. I found those way more interesting to listen to. Yeah, I I, I really because I'm I'm like an ambient junkie here. Like I like ambient's great. So really? like the the intro, like that kind of interlude track in the middle. Um, that one track that was kind of like R and B and down tempo mixed together. That was those were all really good, but otherwise it was kind of hit and miss, you know. That's true. I actually I forgot about that, but I did like the interlude a lot. Yeah. Um, cause I I, I listened to this album all all on YouTube because I don't have Spotify Premium or Premium or anything. <laughs> um, and uh, and when I was going through that, I uh, I, I was kind of scrolling through the comments on the interlude, and a lot of people were talking about how they uh. How they wish that this was developed into a full song and had more vocals on it, yeah. um, and 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 I think that stands to show that um, e like like even though we don't exactly have a taste for it, uh, so this guy has found an audience for this, um, yeah, which is good because the, the 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 worst is when an album is produced for no one, exactly. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like like all, all throughout this album, I like uh like I saw people just calling it beautiful, uh, mm -hmm. everything. And yeah, if 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 it made their day better, then uh then I'm happy that it exists. Yeah, um, I just will probably I, I I probably will never revisit this album again just because uh just just because it is quite long. Yeah. Uh, in 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 terms of the track length, and uh you know it, like, like towards the end, I was kind of going stir crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I think I, I think it's just not my type of uh, 
I, I just think it's well, no, it, it it is my type of music. It's just not. It's just not what I enjoy the most, and I can't enjoy it in bulk like that. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe some tracks here and there. I'll pick yeah. up again. I'd probably give it like a four out of ten mm. for me. Yeah, I I don't know. I'd probably give it like five point five six. I don't know. I I I'd probably give it around that. Like if if I'm going off like objective production value and everything like that because um, yeah but, but but because like i said the album is produced well um like like there's nothing yeah, wrong with the production um it but it, it's 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 just more the whole project um mm-hmm. and maybe maybe we'll just see a bunch of vps from said this guy in the future and i would be yeah. very much behind that yeah all right Let's okay. Do do do, do we want to go to the polar opposite of this, or do we want yeah, to... yeah. Let's let's go to the polar opposite. <laughs> okay. Um. The, the 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 next album that we have on our list is uh, is by Shades, which is a side Ooh. project of Eprom and someone else. Uh, well, yeah, which I'll probably remember, remember in a second. But um, I, I it was released by it was released on Deadbeats, which was the Zed's Dead, Zed's yeah. Dead's music label. Um. And they're they're always putting out interesting stuff. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, the the first thing that caught my eye about this album was just the was just the aesthetic of it. Um, yeah. The, like like the like the black and white sort of like Satanist sort of album yeah, cover and everything. It's a dark cover. Yeah. Um. Because re- recently I got a new um, I've uh I I found a I I don't know if you've heard of him Ghost Mane. Who's yeah. Like, I've... Yeah. Who's this like yeah. crazy dark like emo but also like interesting interestingly produced rapper uh like 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 tons of like industrial noises yeah everything that like that and i and, and i got in him like about three months ago mm. um so 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 that sort of caught my eye that the uh that the album was sort of going for that sort of aesthetic um yeah. and uh and when i listened all the way through i i really like this one um especially the back half of it yeah. um where where, where, where the beat was more present but um but 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 even in the beginning like this album just is chock full of like really distorted dark um but but, but also really cool sounding trap music i think mm-hmm. it, it's very experimental and i love that about it like it's just it's just man it's like <laughs> hitting my yeah. soft spots here man yeah the, 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 there are certain points where where like the bass uh, to me, sounds like a, like have you ever have you ever put your finger over like a over one of the chords that goes into an amplifier before, and it's kind of it's kind of made that noise going out of the speaker. No, I I haven't. Oh, God damn it, that doesn't help the situation. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about there, but uh, but 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 yeah, it, it kind of sounds like the bass sound that an amplifier makes when it gets turned on, cranked up. Oh, to oh, a, that a sound. Little, okay, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, except like cranked up to eleven and then just distorted to hell. Um, yeah. And uh, and I I didn't like every track on this album. Um, and uh, and the first time I listened through it, I thought it was really tedious uh, to get through. That being said, uh. The, the on on my second listen um I, I i was able to appreciate it so much more um yeah. the, the the back half especially is really great i think um mm-hmm. and i and I, I i really hope that this side project isn't just, just one yeah because I, I i do really like this yeah um, i so. i enjoyed it as well so yeah alex perez that's it Eprom and Alex Perez. I, I've I've never heard of e- either of them before, but I've heard of Eprom because I've done some research on stuff. So yeah, I've heard of Eprom, but I haven't heard of Alex Perez. Yeah, um, yeah, I haven't heard of Alex Perez either. But uh, I'm 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 glad I'm glad they got picked up by Deadbeats. Um, hope, yeah. hopefully hopefully they get picked up by someone else in the future. Uh, someone someone a little bigger. Um. But uh, yeah, for for me, like the for me, the best songs off this were like Alger Mortis. Uh, yeah, Sickle. Alger Mortis was really good. I yeah. liked Alger Mortis. S- Sickle, I thought, was really interesting. Um, I, I I thought the I thought the opening track and the closer were both really good. There, there's, mm-hmm. there, there's just a lot of good stuff on here. The only one that I uh, the only one that I didn't like was uh, I think 
I think Alarma, which had the which had the rap lyrics over it, or like yeah. sort of reggae infused. Um, and I didn't think that mixed all that well together. Uh, I yeah, I, I didn't think there was a lot of cohesion there. But mm-hmm. besides that, there's not really a track I don't like. Um, although I will say this album definitely isn't for everyone. Yeah, definitely not for everyone. Yeah, um, it, it it it's not exactly mainstream pop. But uh, oh no, <laughs> it's far from. But yeah, it, but 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 if you feel like listening, to, like uh, I I I guess the most popular thing that I would compare this to would be the the more distorted tracks on uh the Cross album by Justice, like uh, like Waters of Nat of Nazareth or uh like One Minute to yeah. Midnight, if you remember those. Um, or, well, I don't think it can really be compared to Igloo Ghost. I, I don't think it can really. Maybe. Uh, maybe. I bit, mean, bit of a stretch, but but yeah, it, it, yeah. I, I I would say the best comparisons are uh are are, are like Ghost Mane's album Hexada, um, and also and then the more distorted Justice tracks. Um, if you could get some enjoyment out of those, then you would abs- Then you you'd find yourself right at home with yeah. this one. Um. Uh, uh, something else it reminded me a lot of was uh, was I don't know if you've heard of them is a uh, um, um dot um, dot yeah th- th- uh, I I think I remember seeing something from them but they they, they, they have a few uploads on like the Dub Rebellion and the uh, and and they have some remixes that were relatively popular but they're like a they're another very experimental trap yeah. group. Um, and, uh, and, and one of their sets, uh, I think their Shambhala, like, 2017 mix, um, I thought was really good that I've downloaded on my phone. Um, the stuff on here would fit right in with that as well. Yeah. Um, so, 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 so don't get us wrong, we, we, we still enjoy light stuff, just because we, just because we didn't yeah, listen to this kind of, and we like this stuff. crazy industrial stuff, but, yeah. uh. But yeah, th- 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 this was definitely interesting for me to listen yeah. to. Mm-hmm. Hope hope they come back with something else relatively yeah, soon. Yeah. Um. Or not. Or not even relatively soon. I, I I just hope the project gets picked up again. Yeah. Not just one off and done. You know. Yeah. You know. But uh, yeah. I'd give this. I I I'd give this album more like a seven point five ish. Uh. If if not if not a little higher, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'd probably give it around the same as well. So. Yeah. Um, one thing that I was just reminded of that I just kind of want to flow into real quick. Uh, that's not on the list actually. That I that I probably should have put on there. Do you know mm-hmm. who released uh a new single this week? Uh, Who's also who? a duo that really uh a a, a, a side project that should have fallen off. I have no clue. F word. Really? Yeah, there was a new F word single this week. Yeah, yeah, I would have expected them to fall off after the whole that's a crap, yeah. you know. Yeah, the well, it, it like it was always a duo between Datsik and this guy called Bass House, but spelled B A I S H A U S. That no one, yeah. but 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 no one remembers that guy. Because literally yeah. his 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 whole contribution to uh, to the to the musical world it was through F word. He he doesn't have a single feature yeah, anywhere yes. else or, yeah. or 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 any singles or anything. So mm-hmm. so so when the whole Datsik situation happened and you know he was basically shunned by everyone. Yeah. Um, good riddance. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he he he, he kind of realized he had nothing else to hold on to. So. He said that he was going to start it back up, and what we got um, months and months later, um, I'm, I'm assuming he was learning more stuff. Uh, yeah. We got, we got, get this from F word, Tropical House. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, well, it, okay, that that, that 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 that's a bit of a stretch, but it's it's way it's not Bass House by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. Um, the, the, the only reason I'm hesitating now when I say Tropical House is because I don't think there's a pan flute in it, but <laughs> pan flute. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, 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 for, that's that, that's how I know. That's how I know off the bat. If not, well, not all <laughs> Tropical House has that. You know? I know, I know, but it, it's it, it's the classic. It, it, it's the yeah. It's the, 
I, I can't find a better analogy than nail in the coffin, even though I, I don't think Tropical House is bad at all, so that's not a good analogy. But anyway, <laughs> um, so the F word track was, uh, was something else. I, I, I just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention. Um, cause, cause, cause in a way I feel bad for Bass House. <laughs> yeah. Cause he's got to deal with the fact that he had dad sick with him and now yeah. the whole dad sick stuff happened, you know? And it's like, now, now it's like, like, like for, like, I'm kind of wondering if it was even, if there was some dad sick involved, I don't think there was because the whole situation or whatever but you know yeah. it's like i mean like i i i've always said that i think that's like, gonna make his living off of ghost producing now um because because he can still do that and uh also because i don't know what else he would do yeah but uh it did not sound and and that was my theory for what was going to happen with f word was uh was that that's like, would just keep ghost producing that but uh it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like he did which uh which gives me more respect for Bass House, but also sad because, like, like, like the video on YouTube got a bunch of dislikes, and like every comment is just rip f word, like crying, yeah. crying emoji. <laughs> so if you know what, if you're if you're watching this, go go drop a like on the new f word track, okay? Yeah, it's, cause it, cause it, it's it's not that bad. It's just it's it, it it's just the reputation is tarnished, and it's not Bass House, but. Go go yeah. drop a like on it. Go leave a positive comment. Yeah. Ma make Come his on. day. Spread the positivity, guys. Make his day. Anyway, yeah. let's get back on track a little bit here. <laughs> so we've gone through like future bass, which in my opinion is trap music. But anyway, but anyway. Yeah, well, um, whatever. <laughs> um, then we've gone to like the most distorted end of trap possible with the with the shades on. Let's go. Let's go right in the middle of the spectrum with this R.L. Grime album. Yeah. Nova. Uh, which I personally was a big fan of. What'd you think? Um, it was, for the most part, good, but I, I honestly didn't like the hip-hop tracks that much, but, I mean, whatever, you know? I, okay, I, 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 I kind of agree, because for me, the best tracks on this, um, with, with maybe one exception, are the ones that are just R.L. Grime and don't have any features on it. Yeah. Um, that being said, something I wanna something I wanna point out about this album is uh is that there are no producer features on it. Um, there are just vocalist features. Yeah. And I in, in this day and age, I think that's really admirable because um you know it, like it, mm. if you look at a ton of albums like it, I, for me the prime example is uh if you look at snails the snails album that came out last year the shell. Yeah. Um. There's not a single track on that that is just purely snails, like uh, mm -hmm. and and then if you look at like you know excision albums, like if you look at a uh, virus, like there's yeah. like Diane Timmer's on there like six times or something, and like, you know, but uh, but yeah. with this, but with this, and, um, and, the, and don't forget the Kill the Noise album. That's that was pretty a cult. Uh, collaboration. Yeah, a cult classic. That's true. Yeah, that was pretty collaborative. There... There were a few solo ones on that, I think. Yeah, but, there were yeah. a few, but yeah, but um, but yeah, th this is the total opposite end of the spectrum, and uh, and even though there are quite a few vocalist features, Arl Grime, I think, like uh, like like th th there might have been some other people working on some stuff, but like he did all of the major production on this. Like, there's no features for any producers, which is really nice. Um, yeah. and 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 I think all the production on this is really solid. Mm -hmm. Um. But uh, I, I I get what you mean when you say you don't like the hip hop tracks. Um, I didn't. I I especially didn't like Undo. Yeah, Undo was kind of yeah, not yeah. super good. That, that 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 might be my least favorite on the whole thing. Um, I I didn't like the Dia track. Uh, I I, I want to know. I think. Yeah. Um, I didn't like that, and uh, you know, I I wasn't a massive fan of Take It Away either. But mm -hmm. I I did like UCLA and yeah uh, UCLA was pretty good I liked that one yeah a lot. and 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 this and this one came as a surprise to me because I I don't really enjoy either of these artists but I like the Joji and Ke and uh, Chief Keef track way yeah. more than I thought I would actually <laughs> titled I mean, OMG I, I I mean I I'm not even gonna lie I listened to Pink Season and I actually did enjoy it. <laughs> Wait, you, wait, did, did you say I, you finally listened to Pink, to Pink Season? No, no, I unironically oh. listened to it, and I enjoyed it when it came out. I, 
Honestly. I'm, yeah. I mean, I I don't think anyone disputes that Pink Season's, like, a really funny album. Uh, it, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Like, N- N- Nickelodeon Girls is extremely funny. Like, like my friends oh and I still God. listen to that. Um, yeah. Uh, like I, I would have happily paid for it. That's how much I liked it. Uh, but uh, like, like one of the one of the tracks, I, I, I think it was "White Is Right." Yeah, was, "White was, Is was, Right" was too raunchy for like Spotify or iTunes. And um, also, just this year, he removed uh, the kind of folkish song "Dog Festival Directions." So, oh, yeah. He, so he removed I, it? I was mad about that because I was. Uh, I was looking for the album again, right? And I was listening to it over again. And suddenly it just skipped past it. I'm like, what? I was like, what? Are you, what? <laughs> and wait, so, wait. Then I go, so then I go look it up. And it's like, oh, yeah, Joji removed it or whatever after he announced that he was moving to just Joji and retiring Pink Guy entirely. I was like, yeah, dang it. <laughs> Damn. But, uh, uh, no, that, that song's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, I, but, but I... Like, e- like, even though it's all just very funny, um, I, like, all throughout that album and on a lot of Pink Eye tracks, um, I, I, I think some of the, some of the best parts are Joji rapping and, uh, yeah. like, 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 he, he has a good voice, he has, like, uh, I'm not exactly great at talking about rap music, but I, I, I really <laughs> like, I, I really like his flow, I guess, do people say that? I uh, guess, I, yeah. I, 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 I liked, uh, I liked his inflections when he was saying things. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's a much more concise way to say <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, there probably is. But uh, but yeah, I, I like that a lot. Um, so when when the Joji project started, and I saw that it was all more like a more like R and well, I, I, lo-fi, I guess R and B sort of yeah. infused stuff. Um, Alternative R and B, I'd say. Yeah, like, 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 like all of it was fine. Um, like, but I didn't really get anything out of it. Um, yeah. Like at all, uh, I I thought, uh, what, what what was it? In tongues, right? Yeah, in tongues. Yeah. Um, there there was a deluxe version that came out that had a bunch of remixes. Um. Yeah. And I thought most of those were actually really good, or uh, or at least interesting to listen to. Mm-hmm. Um. So so I do have a few of those, but uh, as as for his solo work, um, OMG is the first thing that I've heard from the Joji project that uh. That, that that I think is more reminiscent of Pink Guy because he's actually rapping on this, yeah. um, and 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 because that I had a lot of fun listening to it. Yeah. I think. Um. I'll, 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 also, I also Chief Keith actually did a really good job. I think as well. Um. The 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 the, the whole thing just works together uh, perfectly, and you know, I'm 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 looking forward to playing this in my car. Yeah. Especially. Can Can you drive yet? Um. I mean, I have my permit. I'm I'm working on it. So yeah. <laughs> well, listen. I, I wish. I, I I'll tell you right. My favorite place to listen to music is in my car. I I I mean I I don't. I mean I don't have a car to drive around. But like when I'm, my mom's pretty chill, so she's like fine with anything I play. <laughs> so it's like I, I I can pretty much play anything in the car, and she'll be okay with it. So I I Show I your have mom that some experience. Show your mom some dubstep. That'd be amazing. I have, and oh, I have a kind of funny story. All right, uh, it so. was, yeah, okay. So last year when the Rocket League Monster Cat compilation came out, mm-hmm. so I played Weapon by Grant, and my mom goes, "Is this Taylor Swift?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even, like, I have a recording of this somewhere, but uh, but she said that, and we both just just went hysterical, and it was. <laughs> it was great. Anyway. That's, a, that's amazing. Uh, I, yeah. I, 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 I showed I showed my dad Skrillex once, and uh, and then he put the phone down and walked away. So there's my story. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it, 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 he he he's actually more into it now. But anyway, back on back on RL Grime. Back, yeah. We went on so many tangents there. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I I, I for me um. For me, I think my favorite tracks on this thing are like Pressure and Era, like mm-hmm. like back to back. They're really good, and also Shoulda, which I think is Future Garage. Uh it's Wave actually. I, wave. I'm what are we looking at right now? It's like, it's like the chill kind of trap, I guess. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, I, I, I like that a lot. I liked OMG, like I said, uh, and UCLA. I also 
that and also the outro. The, 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 there are a lot of great tracks on this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and yeah, I like like feel free shrine. I'm I'm just looking at the track listing right now. Like there's there's just a ton of great stuff on this. Um, and I would highly highly recommend it if you are just into trap at all, because there's yeah. gonna there, there's gonna be something here that you're gonna enjoy. Yeah. Pro- probably at least. But anyway. Hopefully. But with that, we are finally through the three full-length trap albums that we that, that that we picked to listen to this week. Yeah. Yeah, we're finally through it. Um. So I so I know I I, I know it's not in order, but uh, <laughs> but I I I, 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 I do want I do want to talk about uh the the pegboard nerds EP that came out. Yeah. Because 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 I have a lot of very good things to say about that as well All right. um for for starters i don't think there's a bad track on here agreed it, definitely yeah um and also i think that it's I, I also think it's a bit of a miracle that this ap is as good as it is because <laughs> this is a coming together of the three quintessential hit or miss artists that i yeah. that i enjoy a lot um because you know obviously it's a pegboard nerds ep and i like <laughs> I like maybe fifty percent about of what they put out, um, and really just don't care to listen to the other half. Um, and then, then you have Knife Party, which yeah. is just, I, which is again, some people say they haven't liked, uh, they haven't liked the tracks that they put out since like two thousand thirteen, because they changed Wait, their style so much. That was like when Abandoned Ship came out, man. Uh, that, 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 no, that was Haunted House. Uh, <laughs> Wait, uh, really? I, yeah. Wait, when did Abandoned Ship come out? Abandoned Ship was like... 2014. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and so, 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 so right there, you have, like, the two most hit or miss artists. And then the, just, just, just the cherry on top, you also have Dion Timmer, or Diane Timmer, yeah. um, who, like, again, like, all three of these artists, like, 50% of their stuff I really, really enjoy, um, but the other half I just, I, I just can't stand. Yeah, with, with with knife party it's much more actually knife part knife party it's much more uh, one sided for me. I like basically everything that they have put out, um, except for that remix on on the on the reworks. But, yeah. uh, but 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 they're very hit or miss for a lot of people. But uh, but miraculously, um, I like every track on here um, to some extent, mm-hmm. and uh, and and I think both of the col- and both the collabs definitely turned out great um oh no, yeah definitely yeah. um I, I i guess starting off uh okay you know you know the, the the one i'm gonna talk about first is harpoon um because uh because me and my friend actually had a bet about whether or not this would be good <laughs> um <laughs> but, but, because like when we heard it was happening it like like it, 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 it a lot of it, it was like tossing four coins in the air um, insane. Or, yeah. or, or no, not 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 four. I guess I guess two coins in there, and like both of them have to land on heads. Yeah. Um, but uh, but I, I I think for the most part, um, everyone can agree that this track turned out pretty great. Um, yeah. It, it, it it's Electro House, which the nerds haven't made. Sorry, which uh, which Knife Party hasn't made in a long time, and that's what they were really known for. Yeah. Back in like 2011, 2012. Um. Like 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 this the first one since I think Resistance which was on Abandoned Ship, yeah. Um, so it was great to it was great to hear that the melody, um, like that's in the off drop is really infectious I think. Yeah. Um and the the, the only bad thing about the song is the music video, <laughs> I would say. Wait, there's a music video. Yeah, there's a music video. <laughs> oh that, no! That, that, I gotta watch this later. That, that, yeah, that, that that was the upload that was on Monster Cat actually. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Actually. Yeah, but was... um. Oh boy. Yeah, but uh, yeah. It, it, if it's it, anything like the Superstar music video was, then I know it's bad, because that was horrible. I don't. I, I don't even remember the Superstar music. Yeah, video, but, but, good because but, it's bad. <laughs> but, but, uh, okay, basically for this one, like like a kid picks up a Game Boy, then he gets sucked into the Game Boy. And you know how a Game Boy is like a like 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 it's all very like it, it's brown colors and like dark gray. Yeah, and stuff the like that. the the puke green as they yeah. always use. Yeah, it it's that it's basically the kid that got sucked in dancing, um, 
with, oh. with, 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 with with like a Game Boy filter over it. it, it it's really not that good. But I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute my audio on my other computer. I'm gonna actually watch. This You're gonna watch it as we go. Yeah, I'm Perfect. gonna watch it while we're talking here. But Perfect. yeah. But yeah. Um. But besides that, besides that music video, the track turned out great. Um. I think. Yeah. Har- yeah. So so harpoon is pretty good. Um. The 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 next one that comes to mind. What what is it? Uh. Which one was the hard dance? It was Oscar, right? Oscar is not hard dance. <laughs> Stupid monster cat! You, you, you make Vi- no freaking sense. It, it's big room, if I remember. Really? I want to say it's big room. I, th- I, I, oh, I, th- I thought it was a little fast for big room. But... Oh wait, no, it's Electro House. Steel yeah. is big room. That's that's what it was. Oh. Yeah. See, I'm 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 getting better with genres, but there's still. You're working on it. Don't worry. Yeah, the... <laughs> it's difficult, man. But uh. Yeah. But yeah, I, for for, for Oscar, I didn't really like the drop at all. Um. That like that the drop in Oscar is probably the thing in this EP that I uh, that I dislike the most. Not that it's like mm-hmm. bad. Like I'm not gonna skip it or anything, but uh, I don't really look forward to it. But the yeah. thing that really saves this song is the it, it is the melody um, throughout the rest of it, which yeah. is like it's insanely happy. It, like, it is. Yeah, like like th- this might be one of the best melodies that they've made since like you know like. Like, 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 disconnected and all that. Um, not, now that I think about it, because I, I haven't heard anything that they've made that really comes close to yeah. being that infectious. Um, Purple People Eater, uh, I, I oh, actually... Oh, that, that was, that, that's infectious, dude. I, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm serious, like, those yeah. vocals were just so infectious. Yeah. F- funny, funny story, I actually used to, uh... When I was a little kid, and I and I just had a bunch of CDs, yeah. um, there was this Halloween party CD that I had. Oh, boy. <laughs> and on that CD, there was the song, uh, Purple People Eater, or Giant... The original. Yeah, the original. So, like, uh, so, so, when I heard, so when I saw that pop up in my sub feed for the first time, like, I got so excited. Um, and, 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 and it really worked out, too, I think. Um, I, I, I've seen a lot of people pick this one as their favorite off the whole thing um and uh, honestly I, I might be there with them although I, I always have a hard time ranking things and picking my favorites yeah uh, okay all right I, i'm gonna pause this for right now what is this music <laughs> <laughs> i'm joking what is this is it like ddr game boy version jesus yeah, I really don't know what they were thinking. Wow, this is strange. I'm, uh, no, okay, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's gonna make me lose my marbles. Over. There, there you go. I, I, I told you, man. I told you. It's scary. It is. It's scary. I I, I'm I, scared, guys. Yeah, I don't really know what they were going for with that. Um, <laughs> st- still a great song. Yeah. And, and 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 at the very least, it's more memorable than <laughs> than, than most other music videos that I've seen. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Okay, okay. The quintessential music video is "Boom" by Richie. Oh, now there wait, we go. Oh wait, I I, I I I vaguely remember it. Um. That that was like the biggest meme back then, man. That was. I I see. I I wasn't really into Monster Cat that much when it came out. Um. It, it's actually funny because like like I, I think that was the day I was like let me let me look up Monster Cat again because because my friend listens to it so yeah I may as well check it out and then that was the music video that was playing oh no <laughs> but, but, but yeah oh, I, nice. yeah I I, I I I do like that song but yeah that's a funny <laughs> it's a it's a good song it's, it's a... just yeah like, like, like oh, oh, I'm, I'm a lot gonna, of songs I'm don't gonna... need music videos. Yeah, some songs they just don't like. I'm I'm gonna go off on a, another tangent here, but I was in school when I wa- when I watched uh, the music video or whatever for the first time. It was like right before my next class, and uh, a few of my friends come up to me and they're like, "What are you watching?" I'm like, "I have no clue." <laughs> <laughs> just and just. Okay. <laughs> like, I was like, I I mean I had seen the preview that. Michi posted on his Facebook or whatever, but like I was like, "What is this? I don't understand." People want to go abstract, man. I, I, I guess. I, I I will say it's it, it's 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 ten times better than like most of the music videos that come out of places like Spinning Records, where it's just like, oh yeah, 
Like, because I see music video there, and then uh, then I click on it, and it's just like them filming the tour or whatever. Yeah, and, like, it, a few it's, shows. it's like the Nevada music video over again. That's true. You know? Although, although I, I, I do like Nevada a lot, Nevada. But... Yeah, that, that music video was okay. You know, it wasn't bland. Yeah, know? but yeah, I, 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 I think, I think the prime example is like a. Oh wait, what, 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 what's that? What's that Martin Garrix track? Like the. Uh... Yeah, animals. No, no, that, uh, that, um... that, that one was at least something. Although not. Yeah, much. that was something. Although, although not much, they just kind of burned a car. Uh, tremor, tremor. That, that, yeah, that, 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 that's the quintessential spinning records music video. Where... Uh, I haven't seen it, but <laughs> it, 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 it's literally just them filming Martin Garrix that's performing true. Tremor. Um, and yeah. then they put like a black and white filter over it and like cut to a few different angles and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, it, it, also, it's just very lazy. Yeah. Point also, it... that EP that that was on uh that was actually i think my first like edm ep purchase on right. itunes i think was, was was that martin was that the martin garrix one the uh the uh the, the, the gold skies ep or yeah whatever? that ep i i don't think it was my first edm purchase i believe that was a snail song but like i don't know i'd have to look i'd have to look but yeah i mean i mean like 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 the songs on there like that's like they're fine. Um, I, I yeah. I've never really been a big fan of Garrix, um, all yeah. all that much. Uh, but, I like 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 that that's all I need from him. Although I will say his uh, um, did you hear did you hear the Bass House song that he put out with Loopers? No, I haven't. Yeah, he he put out the he put out a song called Game Over. Um, and and I decided oh. to listen to it, and it was actually like, you know. Like it's not as good as other producers that just make bass house. Like you know, like I like I would say Draws does a better job than this. Um, yeah. But it but it, it it's very listenable and um and I, I I think I got it on Beatport actually because I because cause I because I want to play it out at some point. Yeah. Anyway, back on topic. <laughs> back on topic. Yeah. Um, I I I I'd go through the rest of the songs. Um, or, or but. I, I think everyone gets the gist. I'm a big fan of the CP. Um, Escape was best song in my opinion. That hands really? up, bro step. Yeah, I, honestly, hands up, bro step together. It's good. I for, like for for me. Um, for me that was that was another part that I wasn't crazy about was when it swapped to uh when it swapped to the dubstep drop or, or bro step. I, I, it's it's different, and that's why I like it. I think really. I guess I I I, I think I just have a thing against uh. When, when when a song is a melody like that and then it swaps to when it swaps to bro step because uh like i like i have the same problem with like disconnected um mm -hmm. i don't know it's where, where they did that but uh but yeah the, the the fact that it was that all five of these tracks are pegged for nerds and i like all five of them yeah as 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 well it, it's a knife party song i like and a dion timmer song that i like it it, it it it's a fantastic it's a fantastic event yeah <laughs> all, 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 all the stars aligned here yay <laughs> and uh I'm, I'm i'm happy that this is what we got for the next two years you know yeah <laughs> Un until the next one comes out yeah all right these 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 next two eps um i don't have too too much to say about uh, other than the fact that i don't think they count as eps i, I don't know i guess you could call them Singles. I mean, if you're going off Monster Cat's definition of an EP, then yeah, they count as EPs. But if you... uh, like, yeah. for, for me, it's like, for for me, you you gotta have like three songs for it to be an EP. Yeah, um, I would say that too. Uh, like I I remember back back in like 2013 through like 15, Dodge and Fusky, when it was just Dodge, uh, released a bunch mm -hmm. of like, like uh EPs that were two tracks. Um. And and I think I started calling them A side B sides. Yeah, because that that's what it used to be back in the day. Yeah. It used to be A side B side. Yeah. Um. And and I think that's what I'd call these next two. Yeah. But um, on, 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 enough talking around them. Let's get into it. We have yeah. the latest thing. A, A side B side. I'm calling it from Eden. Uh, all you yeah. need is love and nowhere else. Um. Um. I'm gonna interrupt you real quick. So I uh, saw Eden live. Uh, it was in March. Yeah. 
sadly the only thing I could call EDM that I that I went to because stupid age limits. Anyway, yeah. um, so I heard both what would later be released as About Time and Stutter, and then I also heard Nowhere Else live, like when they were just IDs, and I, I gotta say that I definitely like the live version of About Time and Stutter better, but I like the studio version of Nowhere Else better, so. Huh. I don't know. Fun fact. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool that you saw them live, and, and, and you're doing better than me because uh, I actually haven't been able to see anyone live yet. Ouch. Uh, yeah, very much so. But I'm, you know, I'm, I I turned eighteen a month ago. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure you something can get in. Yeah, yeah, I I, 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 I was gonna. Most. I mean, the the thing is, I'm right next to New York City, so that's where like all the shows are, and yeah. all all of the places in New York City are twenty one plus. Ugh. Yeah. Um. I I tried to go to Lost Lands, but you know, college is starting up. I'm too far away. Yeah. It, it would be like th- during my third week, and it just wouldn't work. But um. Uh, yeah. You know, is Tomorrowland twenty one plus? I, I'm just wondering. Me, I haven't looked into Tomorrowland too too heavy. Yeah, because like like that is like my destination. Like when I turn twenty one, I want to go there. You know, at least experience it once. You know. Yeah, that's good. I'm yeah. I'm I'm, I, I'm gonna go to Lost Lands one of these years. Hopefully next year. We'll see. Yeah. But I'm I I swear I'm gonna make that work. But anyway, um, Eden is someone that I. I, I, I know a lot of people um, in the EDM world are, like, really into, into what he's doing. Um, mm-hmm. and, and I think that's great. Um, like, it, it, I just don't think it resonates with me as much as um, everyone else. Uh, because I, I see a lot of people, like, this music affects me to my core. And, like, <laughs> that's awesome, man. I don't yeah. see it, though. Um so I so I, I I don't really think I'm exactly the most qualified to talk about this single because uh, I I don't I, I didn't even listen through Vertigo all the way uh, when it first oh, when, it, when it came out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just not my type of thing. But uh, yeah, but, I, I got you. But, we all have our different yeah, things. But the the, the the stuff that I liked from my guess, uh, I I liked his Eden Project stuff. Scribble is always a classic, you know. Yeah. Um, and. And uh, he he did a cover of Billie Jean, I think, by yeah. That, and that got a and that got a remix by uh, someone at Mousetrap uh, called Enzo Bennett, who I'm a really big fan of. And yeah. and and I thought I thought his vocals were really good there in combination with uh, with his sort of progressive house style. Um, but besides that, I haven't. Maybe I should listen through Vertigo all the way. But uh, yeah, definitely but, consider, it, especially like if you were to be there live. It's it's insane live. How how does he perform live? Um, well, he has a band. He does vocals live, and, except for like the backing. The backing is off the album. Um, there's some instruments live, like the drums are live. Some guitar parts in, in Vertigo are live. Um. There's, I think the keyboards are mostly live, mostly I say. So, 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 um, so this is definitely not a DJ set. This is a full. No, it's not a DJ set at all. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's it's more of a fusion between the two, I guess you could say, between like a, a normal live set you'd see like a band and and a DJ set. So, I, that, so, so from what you're telling me, I would say this is the, this is the right way to, I guess. What what a lot of people have uh, coined transcending the genre, um, yeah. Because uh, cause, cause, cause I know Porter Robinson tried to do it. I don't think he did it in the right way, but uh, mm-hmm. but I but 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 I feel like what Eden's doing is uh, like 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 even though I'm not totally into the music, I feel like he's doing it um, yeah. much better. But um, yeah, I I I listen to it. I I'll be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of All You Need Is Love. I thought it was kind of repetitive um i mean it's it's a cover of the beatles song of the same name so see i i i I never i never even got into the beatles uh so that so 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 there's the problem i guess is i i I didn't even understand where where the influence was coming from but uh yeah but 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 i did like nowhere else a lot um that was very relaxing um yeah that that was that was crazy i'm gonna say like as, as much as I like the studio version, I also like the live version equally as much, pretty much. So, and and, and I guess if you hear it, I guess if you hear that, then there's no going back to 
Yeah. Yeah. But um so so you like the live version better for nowhere else. What did you think of what did you think of the cover? No, no, not nowhere else. Uh the live version of About Time and the live version of Stutter, those were re- released oh. uh, a few weeks ago or something like that. Or, oh seriously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Those those are pretty good. He's but been, yeah, okay. He's played anyway, a lot um, recently then. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess it's about all you need is love. I mean, I I was a big Beatles fan, so I guess it's nice to kind of see that. And it's it's so mellow. I think. I mean, not to say that the original wasn't mellow. I mean, it's very peppy, but it's not like like hard hitting or whatever, you know. Yeah. But I I honestly I I know that there's probably going to be some people who are angry about what I'm about to say, but I would say that I honestly like the Eden version a lot better. All right, well there, there you have it. Hot take. Let's yeah. let, let, let's argue in the comments. One yeah, that's watching all right, this. Guys. But uh, but yeah, like like uh, like like Please, for, not like, not that much hate. <laughs> for, yeah, for, for for me, I always got a uh, like like I I didn't listen to the Beatles when I was a kid. Uh, like my, my parents got me into like more heavy metal type stuff. Yeah. When I, when I, when I was younger, um, mm-hmm. so, so so the Beatles I guess never appealed to me, so I skipped over them. But, uh, yeah. M- maybe if I had more context, I would enjoy. I would enjoy it a lot more. But yeah. yeah so, uh, so 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 I respect what Eden's doing a whole lot, even if I don't listen to it all that often. Um, yeah. And even though I didn't like the first track, I thought Nowhere Else was quite good, and uh, I might I might actually come back to that. Yeah. Anyway, so the last EP that we have on the list right now. Is, or A side, B side, if you yeah, want. Yeah, that's right. A side, B side is from Karma Fields, which um, which I actually didn't know about because it was self released. Yeah, he, um, he's released. I think he's self released everything since. Uh, well, if you want, if you don't want to count collaborations since Sweat, and if you want to count ca- collaborations since uh, Shapes with LDRU. Yeah. Um. I. I. Uh, I, I I've always. I've. I've, I've actually liked karma fields a lot um uh, me but, too but, yeah but i just haven't been able to I, I i i would be able to i just haven't tried hard enough to keep up with what he's releasing by himself mm-hmm. um but yeah like uh like, like sweat is actually one of my favorite songs on monster cat yeah. yes <laughs> Pro- probably pro- probably because of the context in which i heard it um have, have you ever have you ever seen the movie annihilation um, no, but I've heard of it. It sounds really familiar. To me. It, it, it it's um it, it's it's the Natalie Portman sci-fi one. It's by the same guy who uh, directed Ex Machina. Ah, uh, um, okay. It, anyway, I, I I I'm a massive fan of that movie actually. Um, I wish okay. it did better. But anyway, um, a, a lot of like the sounds that are used in that movie, um, like like for the more are like, in the song. Well, they're not in the song, but they're it, they, they they give off the same. The, vibe. Yeah, they give off the same vibe very much because in, in in Annihilation, the whole thing is um, just there's this area and inside this area um, like because there was this meteor from like some foreign place we don't know, and it's just yeah. sort of distorting everything and sort of like mixing around molecules and stuff. So so mm-hmm. you get these really cool looking uh, creatures and everything and uh, and and the soundtrack in the movie kind of matches that and uh, sweat really kind of matches that soundtrack yeah. i think uh very well um so so yeah i'm a big fan of sweat so uh so when i saw you put this on the list i i was pretty excited and uh yeah and, and i'm not exactly blown away by it or anything um but i i, I do like the songs on here it's different than yeah. what you'd expect from like new age dark age and that kind of stuff yeah and it, 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 it's a totally different thing from new age dark age i think um I, I, I would say I like you and me more because it's longer. Um, well, I, I think, honestly, I think that it should just be one track because it's like they both see into each other. Yeah. It isn't, yeah, it's like, I don't know. It yeah. could have been better as just one track. Yeah, I, 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 I think I agree with you there. Um, like, I'll, I'll, although, like, like, they do stand um, on their own. Very, yeah. well enough although i would say midnight drive because it's only two minutes and like 30 seconds um yeah. isn't as good by itself 
But um, but yeah, y- y- you and me is definitely my favorite of the two. But yeah, I I I would say that them working as one track, uh, because they do flow into each other. Yeah. Um, I would say honestly that it's kind of like uh, a mellow version of his previous song, Code Ten Thirty One, and uh, the vocals from Body Rush, which was the song before that. Yeah. I can. So, I... So, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. So it's like a mix of kind of new beat, space bass, whatever you want to call it, and R and B stuff. So I'm just gonna call it like Space House or something. The, well, the no, cor- apparently the official term is space space, but I don't believe that. I've I've Just never heard be. space space. I know. I, I we uh, so who, who, who on... runs this genre? Who, who runs um, the, who runs the genre? Rez, I guess. Wait, Rez? Rez? I think Rez coined it. I'm pretty ah. sure. Okay. But yeah, like I work with the M catalog. I'm I was the guy who like uh, reincarnated that after it died, and. Uh-huh. So one day I went in, and suddenly all our new beat tracks were Space Space. I'm like, what the hell is Space Space? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> just, so, just, just like, what happened here? Yeah, it was <laughs> like, I thought it was like a meme or something, you know, because we, like, we all goof around like that. So I go into the staff chat, and I'm like, what the hell is Space Space? And they're like, oh, it's new beat. I'm like, what are you talking about? New beat is perfectly fine. And they're like, no, no, it's space space now. <laughs> Res. I'm like, I'm like, God damn. This is this is why I can never be bothered to learn the more like, like 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 all all the subgenres and stuff. Yeah. Because <laughs> everything changes all the time. I refuse to acknowledge something as space space, <laughs> unless it becomes more popular, I guess. And like. Yeah. But still, what the hell? Um. <laughs> but yeah, in, 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 I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the single. I wish it was just a single. Um, yeah. Uh, cause you are right. Uh, they, they, it, it it would work so much better. I might actually combine the tracks. Uh, I'm I'm gonna do that too. Actually. Yeah, yeah, because cause, cause that just works better. Um, I'll I'll do it for you if you want. But sure, sure. I I I sure I'd be happy with that. But uh, but uh, but yeah, I th- I thought I thought it was I thought it was good. Yeah. I'm gonna try and keep track of uh what he's releasing by himself a lot more often yeah. now. Cause... Yeah. So like, yeah, there's been shapes with LDRU that was on his album. That then colorblind, colorblind reconstructions, which is remixes by Motez and Left to Right, then Body Rush, um. Yeah, Body Rush, Code Ten Thirty One, and then this, I think. And 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 even though it's hard to keep track of it for me now, um, I I a little off, actually not really off topic. Um, I I think this is definitely the best decision for him, or yeah. whatever it was, because uh, because I I know Monster most of Cat his is like, you know, yeah. like like most of his tracks are like the most disliked tracks on Monster Cat. I oh think, yeah, Stick Up is like I think that's the most disliked now i think it even passed yeah. psycho yeah I, I i i kind of get stick up because i like I'll, I'll be honest i i am not the biggest fan of of those vocals but yeah, still G- like G- yeah, it was, uh, you know i mean like i like i i didn't i didn't mind like uh i didn't mind the fact that it, like wasn't sing or anything um yeah like it like it was more just some of the like lyrics themselves uh like i think she made like a romeo and juliet reference yeah or something and I, and I thought that was ridiculously cheesy and like I, I i can't get past that but still the rest of the song is so badass i i, yeah, I, I barely care yeah so yeah good good, good on him for getting out of there I'm, I, I i wish the i wish the monster cat community would have been a little more open-minded uh yeah and i mean as much as it's not really the best place for him, I'd love to see like whatever his New Age, Dark Age two or whatever ends up being on Monster Cat, because you know, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be good, and because I have gold, I would be able to get it for free. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, get, get 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 back on there. Get the dislikes rolling again. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. We need some experiment in here. All right. Um, these okay. Uh, so, so there are all the albums, A-sides and B-sides and one EP. I'm sticking by it now. Um, 
we have so we have three singles, two of which I didn't know were coming out because I don't keep track of uh, the Seeking Blue and Bitbirded labels. Although I, I probably should at this point because yeah, you probably should. Cause, yeah, because 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 Bitbird seems very solid, but um, but yeah, I for for Crystal Skies, I didn't even know about um, I, I didn't even know about him, her, them. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. but I didn't even know about them prior to um listening to the song, and I I would well, say well, that, what about the song with Colvin that like last year or whatever? Um, I I it it, it was only like uh within the past six to eight months that I've started really uh listening keep, uh, to Yeah, yeah. Like Okay. Re- All right, listening that more con- more consistently. Okay. Well um, never mind then I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but but yeah I, I would say fluorescent lights is, or flu- fluorescent light is um it it like it it would be like it would be the best song on uh on Wide Eyed by Said the Sky. Yeah. Like uh could, could, like like after I listened to the album, like uh, I went straight to the singles because I didn't want to sit through another album <laughs> right after that. Um, and like, and, and I went straight to this. I was like, "Thank you, finally!" Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I was like, "Yes, I I, I do like Future Bass. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect." Um. So I uh, I I know it got an upload on like Mr. Suicide Cheap, I think. Um. But in case you haven't heard it check out that because uh good song yeah. yeah very good um the the drulu song i i was really i, I thought I, it was drolo what Dro? maybe it is i, I yeah i'm, I'm I kind of guessing like, i'm kind of like, guessing here. Yeah. Dr- you know what drolo because that yeah we're gonna go with drolo because it, it sounds better yeah and, and it looks like that as well i don't know why i said drulu but uh <laughs> but yeah um I, I, I enjoyed it, uh, although it didn't stand out to me all that much. Um, it, mm-hmm. it it just sort of um, it like it, it was very relaxing. Yeah. To to. Although um although besides that it wasn't exactly like a it it, it wasn't a killer track for me or anything. I just kind of liked yeah. it. Yeah. 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 S- same with you. Yeah, I'd say the same. <laughs> yeah, but then the last one. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I feel, I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm one of the few people that thinks this, but, um, Ricky, Ricky San is actually just one of my favorite producers, just period. Um, just, just because, like, I, 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 I don't know why, but the type of trap that he makes just really, um, like, it, it, it just really appeals to my ears for some reason. Yeah. Um, like the, I, I, I think it's hybrid trap. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. But, I think uh, most Ricky San is. Yeah, yeah mo- Ricky San he has like a he has chill stuff, um, which is fine. Um, and then but like I, a lot of his heavier stuff is really cool. For yeah. Me because um. Oh, I like this feeling a lot, even though it got delayed by two months. Yeah, I know. I, I, I thought it was canceled or something. Um, I, I thought. Yeah, this... same here. I was like, yeah. because I heard the preview when it came, or not the preview, the full thing when it came out, and I was like, oh, okay, uh, it's gonna come out, you know, this week, and then it got pushed to next week, and next yeah. week, and it kept going, you know, and it was like, okay. Yeah, I I, I kind of <laughs> felt bad for him when uh when that was released. Yeah. Because uh, cause, yeah, I knew not everyone was gonna like that track. Uh. And, and 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 it got a fair amount of dislikes on like nothing major um yeah. but 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 the main thing was uh was the release for the next day was the uh was the tristam song and oh that, yeah and that's that, a, that like overshadowed it yeah and that's all anyone was talking about like in the comments of that video yeah it was holy yeah, man yeah. But, but 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 besides this feeling um he he had this song on deadbeats called insane which might be my favorite song from him to to date. Um, it, it 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 had the like what what Ricky Sand does when he makes a sound is like all 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 of the sounds are made in such a way where like I can almost feel them. Like it it's weird. Like they have yeah. texture. Um, I, I I guess the closest thing that I would say the the main drop sound to insane would be is like rubbing like a balloon on something, which isn't oh, which isn't pleasant. Sounds... Which, which which isn't pleasant. But, <laughs> that, like, that, that, but this, it's like the good version of that sound. The good version. Yeah. I don't think there's a good version of. <laughs> Trust me. G- give it. Give it a listen. Because right, uh, it, it, it didn't. Listen. It didn't have any major uploads on YouTube, which I was very disappointed with. But uh, 
but yeah, that that was really good. He he recently released something called Lost Plus Found. Um, I I so. I I haven't listened to it yet, but I did see that he did release that. Yeah. Um, and and I thought that was really good as well. Uh, his EP in like 2016 that was on Never Say Die. Uh, yeah. I I thought that was good. Uh, and and also Faded, is one of my favorites from him. Because, uh, like, in, in terms of vocal manipulation, it doesn't get more crazy and distorted than that song right there. Yeah. But, but with Poppin, uh, in, he has, like, three Never Say Die single releases, which is, like, Faded, uh, then there's Sleep with Hydraulics, which is fucking weird, uh, <laughs> and then there's this one. Hydraulics? What do you expect? That's true. Hydraulics but is really weird. He is. Whatever. I, I, I... The op- little off topic. I really like it whenever Hydraulics and Oski uh, work together, which is frequently. Yeah. Um, th- like that's an underrated pairing right there, I think. But back on topic. Yeah. I like I like Poppin a lot. It's unique. Um, yeah. I don't think it's as it's necessarily as like crazy in terms of uh, the sounds that he uses. Yeah. But uh, in terms of like the song structure, I think this is a step up from uh, what he usually makes, which, uh, mm-hmm. which, which, which I'm happy to see. Um, also, this was like an ID back from like 2016. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, a, a, a lot yeah. of people don't know that, but like, uh, yeah. Bet, well, yeah. hey, I mean, Heaven Let Us Down was like back from 2014. I mean, that's not even Ricky Sam, but whatever. That's I, true. I'm just throwing that out yeah. there. The, the, there are tons of ideas that took forever. Break It Down was like a two-year wait. Yeah. And like, you know, some something that I've noticed a lot of producers talking about on Twitter recently, actually, which is really worrying, uh, is oh no, um, so they they want to make songs that are never released and are only played live to give the live shows more of a more of a meaning. Like an oomph, kind of. Yeah, like you like you only get to hear these songs here. Which is well, cool, that, the thing except... I see with that, like, okay, like, the thing I see with that is there's going to be that one person that's going to record it and upload it, and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, here's your, here's your ID, guys, and then it, technically it counts as release because, you know, it's it's out there, you know, I mean, it's not an official release, yes, but it's mm-hmm. out there, so. And, like... and so people have this low-quality version of it, and then they never get the good version. <laughs> Yeah, and exactly. that's what that, like, and, that, and that's like, what scares me. That's what scares me quite dearly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause, I, I uh, don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, I, fun fact, actually, um, I was looking for a live version of that Vertigo concert, preferably the one I actually went to, so I could make a bootleg live album out of it. <laughs> and I and I ended up finding one. It was the Los Angeles show, and it's it's hit and miss in quality, but it, it's the best I could find on YouTube. So it's something. Yeah, what well, you gotta do, what you gotta do. But um, yeah, like uh, th- there was a certain point before uh, before Space Laces released his uh, before he released his EP, where um, like like most of those tracks had found their way online somewhere or another. Yeah. Um, and and uh, and, and and there's a channel that uploads like all of his IDs and stuff. Um. And and he's like my favorite artist, so it, it it was just torture because for months there was like Space Lace's ID number eight, yeah, just on this then... just on this guy's channel. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> Release some music, please. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, at, at least most of it's out now. But yeah, mm-hmm. little, little 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 rant on IDs there. Yeah. Um, but besides that. I think that basically wraps up all the stuff that we wanted to talk about this week in terms of yeah. releases. Yeah. Um. Un- unless, unless there's something that you want to add to any of the albums that we were, no, that we were talking I about. I can't think of anything. Yeah. So, 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 so recap: trap albums were mostly good. Mostly. Except <laughs> said the sky. <laughs> We, in, in in fact, mo- we we were only talking about we were only talking positively about pretty much all of these songs, <laughs> except said the. I'm so sorry, said the. You're a good producer, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we 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 just took a giant dump on that album and then went on. Yeah, that's that's. Ugh. 
you know, I'm 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 gonna re-listen to that. I'm gonna buy that album. I feel bad. Yeah, now. do it, do it. Give your yeah. money to the artist. And, and said this guy, if you're watching this, come 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 on the podcast, man. We'll 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 talk it out. We'll talk yeah, it out. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, actually, though, I, I, guess, I gotta get please. some. I gotta get some closure. Yeah. On this one here, that, 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 that's that's the second thing I've publicly negatively said di- directly to an artist. I think. What was the first? The 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 the, the, the first one was a uh, was a. Uh, I was telling you a little bit about it before the before the podcast when uh when uh I don't know how many people watching this know who Crow is. But he, oh uh, yeah, we were talking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but 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 he's uh, he does all these sound design tutorials and stuff um, on YouTube, um, and and he finally came out with his first EP, um, but at, at, like as as soon as it came out, there there were a lot of comparisons to be made to Virtual Riot um, EPs. Yeah. Um, like 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 the album art was really similar. Um, like it, it looked like a disciple artwork sort of thing. Yeah. Um, it 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 was a four track dubstep EP with one like a future garage song at the very end. Yeah. And and, and overall, like the styles were somewhat similar. That being yeah. said, he designed like all the sounds himself. Like he didn't use yeah, virtual so... right presets or anything. Yeah. Um, and and like and and and, and before thinking, I made a stupid comment comparing it as well um although <laughs> although i later messaged him on discord and apologized just because i <laughs> just because i just felt so shitty but, but, but because he put so much work in yeah like, exactly you know, what, like... you know what shout out that's gonna be the first link in the description is is, is, is you know what? no it's not but it, it, it'll be in there somewhere <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> it, 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 it'll be in there somewhere yes <laughs> go go, go buy it on itunes it's only two dollars Oh, that's cheap. Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah, do yeah, it. yeah, yeah, it is cheap. Well, I I have it's Apple Music. Like, I can just stream it. Yeah. Sends them money. Yeah. You know, put put that on your computer and loop it overnight. All right. Give, <laughs> give, give that man some money, Crow. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I was gonna actually. I, I was actually gonna ask him to be a guest on this. You should ask on. him. I I I I probably I probably will later. Um. All right. But until then. Uh. Yeah, but 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 until then, Crow. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, he, he 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 knows that already though. He responded. Yeah. I think we're we're on good terms, right? Yeah. But anyway. Hopefully, I I hope. Yeah. yeah we I, don't want to get any enemies. <laughs> yeah. All, all, already <laughs> five subscriber podcast. Oh. Every, every everyone hates him already. But oh, um. No. But speaking of that, I think, like I was saying before, I think that wraps it up. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way through, hopefully you did. If you just <laughs> skipped, you if, you, or if, yeah, if you skipped here, fuck you. Rewind. <laughs> um, uh, if, if, if there's anything that we have to do better, please tell us. Don't yeah. Don't we, don't, we don't, want, don't just sugarcoat it. We want we want yeah, legit we want, criticism. We want our feedback, man. We yeah. we work hard for this. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't be mean. Don't be mean. Yeah. But uh, well, be a little mean, not not super yeah. mean, but be a little. Be critical. So. That's that's the key. I don't okay. know. I don't know who the profile picture is made, uh, by. So e- it's either a shout out to a guy called Zenith Netzy Possible, or it might just be IMG. It might just be. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But the point <laughs> is, we got some people working on it, and they're all great. So, you know, yeah. wh- wh- whoever it winds up being, tell t- tell them thanks or something. Pay them yeah. for art. Um, yeah. our links to all of our social medias are going to be in the description and stuff. Yeah. I, I, I was about to say timestamps in the description, but they don't need them if they got that far. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I guess, I guess that's for next time. Time stamp, yeah, I guess it is. Timestamps next time. Look for them. Um, all right. but until then, hopefully next week, we'll see. Yeah. We'll, hopefully. Let's yeah. And, 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 and be sure to leave lots of comments cause it, like if there's something that you guys want us to review, then let us know and we'll probably get to that because yeah at this point you're one of like three people asking <laughs> so we'll we'll get to you yeah but, but as long as it's recent ish you know um... yeah 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 Re- recent ish like with the, within the yeah. last within the last two three weeks probably closer to yeah. two closer to two yeah but yeah with that being said thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week
We've been the fake yeah. music only podcast. 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 <laughs>